years ago, we did a piece about the Redskins' ageless cornerback, Darrell Green. Then in his 14th NFL season, Darrell was a marvel. At 36, he hadn't lost a step of his world-class speed. And if his skills were diminished, you sure couldn't tell. Quick slant into the hands of Darrell Green. He's gone! Touchdown, Washington Redskins! The little guy just blistered that sideline. We never expected to be back four years later to tell the same story. But here we are. Now, entering the 18th season of his Hall of Fame career, the legend of little Daryl Green keeps growing. I think with Daryl, you get to be around him and you take him for granted. And that's not fair, and I shouldn't say that, but you do. He's so amazing, uh, you know, and you have to really step back and, and force yourself to say, hey, this guy played at 39 years old, he will be 40 years old. He puts his helmet on and his shoulder pads on and he looks like he's 25. In May, Darrell outdid himself. An hour after agreeing to a new five-year contract with an owner five years his junior, Darrell clocked a 4-2 40-yard dash. At the age of 40, he's still the fastest guy on the team. Now, how can you explain that? How can a guy that's 40 years old run, run that fast? If battle, I think you have is in your mind because of the statement you just made, that you can't do it. My mother used to say it, used to burn me up. Well, baby, mama's getting old now. I'm not getting old. It's a mind, it really is. I've heard you say you have to fight the monster. What, what, what's that mean? <sighs> Just fighting the, the human experience, the, what people expect to be normal. People set the bar for everybody. They think that the bar is set, Daryl, you shouldn't be able to do this. When I was in, as a kid, you're too little. You know, you can't do it. You say, oh, little guy. Yeah, people have laughed. Of course, it was Daryl who got the last laugh. He was only 5'8", but he came to the NFL in 1983 with every athletic ingredient a player needs and a few extras tucked away just in case. Two, two, old buddy. Make you run fast. He was probably one of the greatest punt return and kickoff return guys that's ever played in the league. As a rookie, the first time he was ever in a game on a punt, ran it back all the way. He made an even bigger splash that first season when he caught Tony Dorsett from behind on Monday Night Football. If we were going to take one play from our library of your whole career oh, and put God. it in a time capsule, this is a resume of what Daryl Green stood for. It. How you about get the, these hard questions? Well, how about the punt return? You know, against the, the Bears? Yeah. You're holding your ribs. See, right. that play or ca catching Dorsett would come to your mind. But I would be thinking of a play that expressed my skills as a cornerback. There is a great legendary play, uh, Jerry Rice, um, Joe Montana, man to man. I got an interception on that. But it's stuff like that where you, you know, you're making plays as a cornerback as opposed to that highlight play, running Dorset, making that punt return or what have you. When you add them up, Green's numbers are astounding. He's intercepted 50 passes in his career, and he's the only player ever with an interception in 17 straight seasons. Just don't ask him how he does it. My job is to get in the way and out of the way. Either one of them I need to do, I'm gonna do it. Now, what do you mean by that? I don't For understand. For example, a lot of times, Irvin's and these guys, they like to push you off. Sometimes you get out of the way and you get back in the way. So. And then sometimes you're in the way, which is the right time to be in the way. Sometimes it's the right time to be out of the way so you can get back in the way. It sounds crazy, but... It does. I don't know what the hell you you're do talking it with about. Feet. You, yeah. do it, you do it with quickness. Jeez. These nets are killing us. I know. Oh, we got to... We got to... Ready? Yeah. Ready? Go. Boy, you hit me dead in I the know. head like a gun. <laughs> <laughs> he shot me. Bam! Bro. <laughs> Damn, Nats. Well, at least now, Darrell knows what receivers have felt like for 17 years. Like any pest, Darrell causes a lot more mental anguish than physical damage. You know, one of my slogans is, it's bad English, but I ain't gonna hurt nobody. One thing you can count on, Darrell Green ain't gonna hurt nobody. 
<laughs> it ain't happened yet, and it ain't gonna happen soon. Now that's one of the most interesting statements that I've, because everybody talk about football. I'm gonna leave a mark on the guy. I'm sending him a message. I'm gonna gonna sting him. I'm gonna kick his ass. And you're saying? Uh, Not a wide receiver out there tell you that I ever, they was ever scared of me. And I heard him. And believe me, I wasn't fooling myself about it either. First, he was too little. Now, he's too old. The adversary may change, but Daryl Green never does. Year after year, he fights the monster with the same spring in his step and the same secret weapon in his sock. Oh, I think I found one. <laughs> Here's the whole key to Daryl Green. Just watch him in practice. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Boy, you didn't move me. I played with him. I played against him. Daryl Green has fun. He has fun no matter what he does. <laughs> do you do that, come back straight. Nowadays, he spends practice advising straight. teammates, They're young enough to be his sons. But what do you expect from a guy who's played against three sets of fathers and sons? Darrell's covered 17 of the top 20 receivers in history. There's hardly anyone he hasn't caught from behind. And football's Peter Pan isn't done running yet. One of the things that I've noticed following your career is that you're one of the few players that plays with a smile on his face, you know? Yeah. And is that smile because you love the game or you love the competition? <sighs> Probably the competition, the life, the people around me. Just fun, just fun to be with the guys and fun to compete. I guess it never changed for me. I've always approached it like I was a kid.